So here's why I stopped being vegan. I went completely plant-based for 10 months, but I went back to eating meat. You answered your own question already. You weren't vegan to begin with. You were just plant-based. We are off to a really good start. One, even after 10 months of fully adjusting to eating plant-based, whenever I smelled or saw meat, I still wanted to eat it. So it didn't feel right for me to ignore what my body was clearly telling me, based on the conclusions of some biased research other people did. What? Well, you don't have to be a scientist to see the flaw in that statement. Let's actually replace the word meat with junk food. Whenever I smelled or saw junk food, I just wanted to eat it right away. Because my body was telling me to eat more. And if my body is telling me to eat more, it needs to be healthy. And that is exactly the reason why junk food cannot be that unhealthy. And two, not all meats are created equal. Grass-fed steak or wild-caught fish is very different from a Big Mac burger. But when vegan studies or documentaries want to convince you to go vegan, they speak against meat because the studies they use use grain-fed meat with refined carbs or industrial seed oils. And they conclude that it's the meat's fault. No. We actually have this beautiful meta-analysis of randomized control clinical trials. To be more specific, 36 randomized control clinical trials were included in this meta-analysis. With a little over 1,800 participants. What did they actually conclude? Substituting red meat with high-quality plant protein sources, but not with fish or low-quality carbohydrates, which is essentially junk foods, leads to more favorable changes in blood lipids and lipoproteins. Meaning you can reduce your chances of experiencing a cardiovascular event if you swap out red meat for plant proteins. But to address his claim more directly, there is a randomized crossover trial actually done with grass-fed beef. And that is the swap meat trial. They had participants consume animal-based products and one of them was grass-fed beef. The other animal-based product is also considered to be on the quote-unquote healthier side because it's lean beef. To be more specific, 80% lean and 20% fats. And who was the direct adversary of these meat products? It was none other than Beyond Meat, which is arguably considered one of the unhealthier plant options. And what did the researchers conclude? They concluded that the plant products improved several cardiovascular disease risk factors. Even if they didn't use any grass-fed beef for the randomized controlled clinical trials, we can still see similar patterns here. We always have to adjust our points of view according to the latest total scientific evidence. And that is clearly not favorable for red meat consumption. Doesn't matter if it's grass-fed beef or not. Overall, a very weak and poor video of a person who doesn't understand the difference between a plant-based diet and a vegan lifestyle. What are your thoughts about this video? Feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow for more.